Hi guys, welcome to another video of robotics. In this case, I'm going to show you how to program this prototype that is called the sensing bot. Now, um, let me tell you something about this robot. Okay, if you if you see here, this is the picture of my sensing bot. Now, the most important thing about this robot is that in front, his, this thing that I'm um, showing you, this is the an, an IR sensor. Now, the IR sensor, what it does is that if this thing, this sensor, uh, sees something in front of it, it's going to see it as an obstacle. So it's going to send a signal to the processor, to the CPU, so you can use that signal in order to do something. Okay, so this robot has the following connections that I have here. The sensing bot. You have the motor 1 in the CPU, you have connected the left motor. In the section of motor 2, you have connected the right motor, and in the section of the inputs, in the input number 1, you have connected the IR sensor, the one that is at the front. So we can see that connections, and in the, in the diagram, well, there is uh, how to, to, to build this prototype. And for example, uh, this one right here, uh, this one is the, the IR sensor. It says here the IR sensor board. So uh, here you see that the left motor is connected on the motor one, and the right motor is connected at the motor two uh, um, sections of the CPU. Okay, now this is the IR sensor and this one is connected in the input one of my CPU. And as I said before, this is the connections. Okay, so let's program it. But before, I need to tell you how it's going to work. So imagine that you have this robot. This is your sensing bot. And your sensing bot is going to move forward. And in front of the sensing bot, there is an obstacle right here. You have an obstacle. So the sensing bot here, you have the IR sensor. So if you move forward, sooner or later, you're going to see an obstacle in front, this obstacle. So once you detect that obstacle, you need to turn right and then move forward a little bit and then you need to turn left and then you need to continue moving forward just as the beginning so if you see an obstacle you turn right move a little bit forward in order to uh, avoid this obstacle and then turn left and continue with your um, when your motion that is moving forward that is what we're going to do got it so let's go to the Ryx software that I got over here so the robot is going to move forward but there is a condition I'm gonna move forward um, only if I don't have something in front so that is a condition and the conditions I'm going to program them using the if else section and I'm going to select the if else chip now if you see I'm gonna open the properties of this one and you see this okay it selected the sensor port if I click here, I can see that I can choose up to seven ports. But if you remember, my connections, uh, the input, there's the IR sensor is connected in the port number one of the inputs. So the if else uh, detects the signal only of the inputs. So my IR, sens IR sensor is connected in the input number one. So that means that it's connected in the port number one one I selected so this works uh, like this if I detect an obstacle in front what am I gonna do okay so I select the DC motor if I don't have something in front I'm gonna tell the robot to move forward so I click the properties and I select the motor one and the motor two remember that I only have two motors these two I don't have them and with these arrows over here, I can tell the robot or this motor if I wanted to go move forward or backwards. 
forward or backwards. In this case, both are going to move forward. And the speed of both of them is going to be uh, 15, just at full speed. Um, and don't worry about it. I mean, the motors, uh, these robots are not so fast. So it's okay if I select forward, forward. Okay. Mm, let's say if I do this and I click download, I turn on the, my robot. The, the truth, the, the, the really true, is that I'm not going to see anything. The robot is not going to do anything because uh, the speed of the process of my CPU is so fast. So if I download, the robot is going to start. It's going to ask if there is an obstacle. If there is no obstacle, it's going to move forward and then it's going to stop. But that motion, that forward motion is going to be so fast that I'm not going to be able to see it. So that's why I need to tell the robot to perform these actions, this, this action, um, a certain amount of time. But in the, uh, just remember, when I described to you, I didn't say for how long time uh, the robot was going to do this. So I'm going to assume that the robot is going to do it forever. So I need to select the while section in the while. I'm going to select this infinite while. That means that this, this thing or the, the commands that are inside the while are going to be performed always, always, only if, I, if they are inside the while. Now, in this case, if I download my program, I'm going to be able to see it because the robot is going to be asking, hey, do I have uh, an obstacle in front? No, forward. Do I have an obstacle in front? No, forward. And it's going to repeat it uh, always, always, always. Okay. Now, let's program now what it's going to do if I have an obstacle. Okay. So, first, mm, I'm going to move a little bit backwards. Okay, so I select the motor one, motor two, and I'm going to select just the half speed, and I set backwards, just a little bit, let's say 0.3 seconds, yes, and then I'm going to turn right, so I select the DC motor, and I click these two motors, in order to turn right, one motor must, must be going forward and the other backwards, so Forward means that the motor one or the left motor goes forward and the left right motor goes backwards. So it's, the, it's something like this. Um, now I need to tell the robot how much time is going to move, uh, is going to do that turn. So I'm going to select 0.7 seconds. Now it depends on your batteries. If your batteries are full, maybe it's going to take a less, less time. But most of the time it's going to be 0 0.5, 0 0.7, it's up to you. I, I, I just want the robot to move, to, to make a turn. Okay, so I, I, I'm on this case. I already turned right, so I need the robot to move a little bit forward just to avoid that obstacle. So I'm going to select the DC motor forward for 0.3 seconds. Okay, and uh, and then I need to turn left, DC motor, uh, forward for 0.5 seconds. Sorry, <laughs> yes, just put just put 5.5 seconds, uh, and then I'm going to turn uh, left. In order to turn left, the left motor must go forward, and the right motor must go backwards. Oh, sorry. No, this, I need to switch. Yes, this is the turn left. The left motor goes backwards and the right motor goes forward. And I'm going to use the delay of 0.7 seconds. Now I'm on this case. Okay, I just turn left. Yes, and I'm here. So then I need the robot to move forward and continue the, the travel that it was doing. So this, that's it. So I see an obstacle, I move backwards for 0.3 seconds, I, I turn right, I move forward for 0.5, and I turn left. 
4.5 and in that case I, I'm, I'm not gonna have an obstacle in front so that means that I'm gonna move forward because once these actions are completed the what the infinite while makes the robot to turn again to turn to go back and ask hey do I have an obstacle in front no I don't have an obstacle in front okay and don't so that, that means um, move forward move forward move forward okay so this is the program and let's see how this program works with my with my sensing bot <laughs>